We are at Teterboro Airport, New Jersey, on ready to go down the Hudson and fly around Long Island for a nice tour of the New York metropolitan area. We'll be up as far up in the sound as uh, the Hamptons, and we'll be cruising at between 500 and 1,000 feet. Behind me is an Eastern Airlines Douglas DC-7B. Built in uh, January of 1958, uh, we picked this airplane up out of St. Paul, uh, Minnesota. Uh, it sat there for just under 33 years. Uh, we worked on it for, what was it, 10 to 12 weeks. Uh, flew it home, have been working on it for six years, got it restored, and uh, just last month we started flying it. Historically, everyone has gone after collecting warbirds. You know, your B-24s, B-17s, B-25s. Uh, no one's gone after airliners to collect airliners or preserve them. And uh, I just thought that the, it would be pretty neat to uh, actually collect uh, the old uh, airliners. Uh, not to mention the fact that I love the old classic paint schemes. And uh, I just think that they're classy. I've looked for Eastern Airlines for 10 years. This is, this is so exciting. I'm used, to, I'm used to putting trays out and serving people right now. It's such a treat to just be able to sit here and look out the window and enjoy the sight. It's very, very exciting. I love it. I'm loving every second of it. On the Eastern DC-7B, which is Eastern Airlines, ex-Eastern Airlines DC-7B, this was the rear lounge that you could use, uh, you know, first class people. This is where they, you know, you congregate back here. I think they call it the cigar lounge back then. You could smoke back then on airplanes. You know, back in the day, it was a real experience to fly on an airliner, and people would dress up. You'd usually be in a, a coat and tie, and your wife would be in a nice dress. Your kids would be dressed up, and it would be just an event because it was a special thing. Flying today is like taking a bus. Go to your local Greyhound bus station, and that's flying today. Flying in the old days was a privilege. 